Well, you know those fresh, soft, hand-rolled pretzels you get at the mall? They are so yummy. Adults, yeah, I am raising my hand here. Love Auntie Anne's pretzels, and so do kids. In fact, check this out. I am a card-carrying member. This is in my purse at all times. I'm serious. Want to learn more about soft pretzels? We have a real pretzel expert joining us on the show this morning, Michelle Perella. She is a trainer at Auntie Anne's Pretzels. Morning to you, Michelle. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Danielle. I'm excited to be here to show you all the products I can make with the at-home baking kit. This is going to be so much fun. Now I know I said in the intro that you're a pretzel trainer. What exactly does that mean? What do you do? What I do is I train uh, owners and crew members from all over the world at our Pretzel University for Annie Ann's. Pretzel you. Yes. All right. So you know how do you make salt pretzels? We took a little trip to our local Auntie Ann's to learn how. Take a look. Hello sir. Would you like a free sample? I buy one every time I'm here. They're the best pretzels. It's very good. I usually get original, no salt. They're very filling and sweet. Yeah, a lot better than buttermilk biscuits. They're fresh from the oven. It is good. Very, very good. All right, so I have to tell you, that looked like a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun here as well this morning. So we're going to make pretzels and pretzel-based products using a kit that you can buy right in your local grocery store, your club chain, your superstore, even Auntie Anne's pretzel stores. So, Michelle, show us what we have. Yes, yeah, so you can make all these products in the comfort of your own kitchen. You have an at-home baking kit, and it comes with the pretzel mix. It comes with yeast cinnamon sugar, salt, and also a packet of baking soda. I love that. All right, yeah. so give us an at-home lesson. Okay, great. Once you start making the uh, pretzel dough, what you need is one and fourth cups water of warm tap water. Make sure it's warm to the touch. Because you've got to dissolve the yeast in yes. there. Yes, mm -hmm. and you want to let that set for a couple minutes in a large bowl. And then once that is set, then you can add the dry mix. You can knead it with your hands or start incorporating it with a spatula. And once it's incorporated, then I recommend lightly flouring the surface of your counter yeah. and putting the dough and kneading it. And I'm sure, yes. Girl, there was no kneading going on, there was beating. Oh, they were like man. punching that dough, but that's what made yes. it fun for them. It's a yes. great bonding experience yes. to do at home. They were punching that dough. And it it's was educational just, for It's them. educational with they the can, yeast rising yes, and all of that. Definitely. That is true. And once it starts getting incorporated and it's uh, slightly tacky, then you spray a bowl and then you put the dough in it and you're going to let it rise there for 30 minutes. You have to remember that. That was so hard after two minutes. <laughs> Mommy, is it done yet? That's like in a car ride. Are we yes. there yet? <laughs> yes, and then once it's fully risen, you can start making basically any product you want with the dough. I love that. I love that. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna take the dough out yep. here. So what you need is some nonstick cooking spray. Yep. Spray it on your counter, and then you're gonna put the dough right down on your counter. Mm -hmm. And if you want to make official Annie Ann's pretzels, mm -hmm. you're gonna need a pizza cutter, and you're gonna cut an eight inch one by one and a half inches wide. And then how I show them at Pretzel University is a dough strip. And like you see in our stores when you're at the mall, yeah. what they do is they pick it up, they leave their left hand still, and what we tell them is like lassoing a pole with okay, a rope. Okay, okay. And then your right hand's gonna come around, and then you make a pretzel. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> Right, right. What you can do, okay. there, there is an easier <laughs> okay, way. Okay, good. What you do is make a U shape, and then what you're going to do is bring down the ends, and then you're going to cross the That's knot. That's what yes. mine look like yes. at home. Yes. I love that. All right. There's other things you can do, too. We make sticks in the store and nuggets, and if you want to make sticks, make an S shape, and then you're going to cut the ends. To make sticks, you just go down the middle, mm -hmm, and for mm -hmm, nuggets, if mm -hmm. you want smaller pieces, Cut them up in the pieces. And wouldn't this be great for a movie night or yeah. a kid's sleepover? They can eat. Yeah, yes. we've got nuggets here. Pop yeah, and that's a mouth. fun pop in your mouth treat. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Also, the dough is so versatile. You can make pretzel dogs. Um, also, they can be creative and they can make letters, animals, mm. whatever they want. Mm -hmm. um, also, what I'll do is I'll make your initials. Mm. Okay, I'll make a D. 
Mm -hmm. And then I'll do the K for you. Oh, that's fun for the kids yes. because, as I said, their shapes were not really <laughs> your official Auntie Anne shapes. Right. But it was so much fun because yes. they were able to use their imagination. Yes, definitely. Okay, great. Then, so there's my initials. Once you get to this part, what you're going to need is four cups of hot water and then the baking soda on packet. And then yeah. you want to dissolve it. So why do we do that? Because we did that and I wasn't really sure why. The reason we do that is just to get that golden brown look that's on it. That's what gives yes. it the golden brown color. Oh, yes. Okay. And you also need a kitchen towel. So what you're going to do is whisk that you're gonna need a baking tray mm -hmm. and with the baking tray you're gonna spray it again just to coat it a little bit of nonstick spray there yes. just to coat it okay yep then what you're gonna do is pick up the letters or whatever shapes you have and then just blot the back and then put it on the tray Easy which enough that's not looking really like a D but that's okay that's an <laughs> O I'm okay yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> and then you place the K right on the sheet right Okay, you want to do the nuggets, just pick a bunch up and then just blot it. Yep. And then what you're going to do at this process before you put them in the oven mm -hmm. is uh, this is where I would recommend putting the salt on it. Or if you want no salt for the cinnamon sugar, this is where you would do it. And then you would pop it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And all you do is bake it for five minutes. And they bake quickly, I yes. have to tell you all at home. They really do, so in five minutes, yes. it's, it's ready to go. And after five minutes, this is what you get. End result. And when it comes out, if you do want to make the cinnamon sugar ones, you would need uh, four tablespoons of butter melted. Then this is where you would brush them on and then sprinkle the cinnamon sugar on it. So yummy, yes. so those are, that's the end result. But then yes. you've done so many other yes. wonderful things here with this baking kit. Tell me about that. This is a deep dish pizza you can make at home instead of ordering pizza, maybe make one with your family. Fun, yes, and then fun. you can customize it. You can put whatever topping you want on it. And you know what, what kid does not like hot dogs? Yes, my kids love hot mm -hmm. dogs. They always want one. And then you can wrap it in the dough and bake it as well. How fun, this looks like fun. <laughs> yeah. Now what is this? This is monkey bread it's called, or cinnamon pull apart bread, Ooh. which you can roll the dough into pieces, put it in the butter, and then the cinnamon sugar and put it in a bump pan. Fun. This I is great that. for the holidays. Maybe you have relatives coming in for a holiday and they, that would be something great in the morning. You know, it's funny, I was just thinking, I mean, you've shown me all these wonderful ideas and I'm thinking, I'm sure people ask you all the time or tell you about different ideas they have that they can do with yes. this wonderful kit. Yes, you can even imagine taking your favorite candy bar and wrapping it in the dough and baking it. Oh girl, no you didn't. Yes. It's not a candy bar, <laughs> yes. in the dough, Yes. flour and yes. chocolate, my yes. two favorite things. We also have a recipe on AnnieAnn'sRecipe.com for a refreshing fruit pizza you Ooh, can make in the summer maybe. Wonderful. Yes, definitely. You know, the other thing that is so wonderful is that with this baking kit and related products, you also do fundraising efforts as well. Yes. Tell me about that. We do have fundraising for nonprofit or schools, which it's a new twist on the old bake sale idea. Mm -hmm. And we do have the baking kit and also frozen products, frozen pretzels, frozen pretzel dogs. We have pretzel pockets and Ooh. breadsticks on that line. Wonderful, yes. wonderful product. And can I just tell you thank you because you really made my boy smile the other <laughs> night. We had so much fun, Michelle. Oh, it really was a treat. Thank you. And thank you for being on the show this morning. Thank you. And if you want more information on what to purchase, Auntie Anne's at home baking kit or recipe ideas, just go to AuntieAnne's.com. And for information on Auntie Anne's fundraising program, go to AuntieAnne'sFundraising.com.